Hello and welcome to Gary's Garage. Today I've got a very quick one for you on the Honda Ridgeline. We're going to be replacing the cabin air filter. No tools, just fingers. Let's get it done. Step one, open the glove box, empty everything out. Squeeze it together. These little tabs they squeeze in because there's a cut down here. And let it lower and that will give you access to where the filter is. Alright, this is where it is. Squeeze these little tabs in, one on each side. It's hard to see, but just squeeze it in and pull out. And then slide it up towards you. Pull it out. You'll see the dirty part is on the top. Clean part's on the bottom. You can tell it's dark on the bottom. And that tells you it's an active, it's a charcoal type. And inside you can see the fan. So let's uh, change the filter out of the case and then we can put the case back in. Now before we change the filter, we want to do a quick comparison. From the size, this looks like this is a perfect fit. You'll notice there's less pleats in this one. This one is um, marketed as a HEPA style filter, uh, which means it would filter out smaller particles. But because there's less pleats, there's a lot less surface area and therefore it can't hold as much material. So although this is probably good, it won't last as long as the original one. Um, you can, the original one will also have an airflow and that'll match up the, uh, on to uh, the case. So we'll just push that out and there we go. Now let's just uh, open up this package. Should have thought ahead. And do that. Notice the airflow is also down, just like this one. And you would think it goes this way yeah. and when you're putting it in you need to make sure that the very last pleat goes inside there's a slot inside you can see I'll pull it out again you can see there's a like a little slot in here and you want the very last pleat to go in there and it just acts sort of as a as a way of sealing that in there and then we can just go reinstall that just slide it in close the gold box and you're done click click both sides done Thanks for watching Gary's Garage. That was a quick one.